Was ist los? It's your German boy here, and welcome back to If My Heart Had Wings. Now, in the last episode, we actually got to know Kotri a little better, and found out that her and I are kind of the same in some ways. And we thought we were making some progress, like we might have actually convinced her to stay, but... After a night of lighthearted teasing gone wrong, it seems like she's still just as adamant as ever to drop out. So, even with all that considered, I, I think there's still hope. So, without further ado, I am just going to jump into it. At lunch break, Ageha and I were called to the staff room. It's because we were both absent yesterday. Oh god, they caught up to us after they found out we played hooky. <laughs> we told the truth and said we were hanging out and got a really severe scolding from our homeroom teacher. Well, that can't be helped. It's a good thing they didn't contact our parents. <sighs> Ageha isn't her usual cheerful self this morning. Don't worry about it, you know. Kotori understood why you did that. Actually, she was regretting it too. The fact that she had an argument with Ageha. あの時カットなったのは多分ズボシを疲れたからだと思う。発泡美人って言われてさ。You don't kiss up the people though, do you? どうかな。私ね、仲いい子はたくさんいるけど、青いたちと遊んでた時くらい親友って感じの子。I guess that Ageha can get along with anyone, but it doesn't feel like there's anybody she's particularly close to. To be honest, I thought that was a little strange. I'm the same, kind of. I got along with everyone in the cycle racing club, but I couldn't talk to them in the same way I can talk to you guys. That's a question of time. I hadn't spent the same amount of time with them. Me, Ageha, and the others were each other's very first friends, here in this neighborhood, back before I can even remember. If there was anyone else who I got along with... Idiot! Moron! Knucklehead! Schwanzkopf! Arschloch! Suddenly, all those insults spring to mind. Do we really get along? Even if you weren't told to, you were worried about Kotri anyway, weren't you? Kotori is taking a day off school today, too. Ageha thought it was her fault and was blaming herself. This morning, when I woke up, Kotori had already left. There was, uh, there was signs that the kitchen had been messed up, and it looked like she'd been searching for the withdrawal notice that I hid. Actually, it was in the drawer in my room. It's not your fault that Kotori hasn't come to school. It's not just what I think. It's almost completely certain. The truth is... I remembered that we were in the hallway of the school and took a quick look around. There was nobody passing, so I didn't have to worry about anyone hearing. 
Kotori wants to quit school. <gasps> From a long time ago. She seems like she had decided before I came back here. Ageha was surprised to hear this out of the blue and didn't say anything. <laughs> it's not because she argued with the girls in class. There's a... a deeper reason for it. I think that it's also the reason for her recent behavior and attitude. <laughs> yeah. Since she was planning to quit school soon, she thought it would just cause problems for us. It was because you both misunderstood each other. Agaha takes her unfocused anger out on me by hitting my chest. Ow! 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 Thick! Stop! I only found out by coincidence. Also... Ah! I can't just go around telling other people our secrets, can I? I just picked up the withdrawal notice by coincidence, so I didn't know then she was planning on submitting it, or even if she was really serious about it. I couldn't exactly ask her about it either. Wirklich? <laughs> I'm sorry, okay? That hurts! Seriously, stop punching me! Zen? I thought that she didn't want to quit school anymore. She'd been coming to school, helping with the meal preparations at the dormitory, and it looked like she was enjoying herself. I just assumed that everything was okay now. Yeah, sure. <laughs> In an attempt to offer some comfort to Ageha, who is now crying, I stroked her head. That sounds fucking adorable. Anyway, today is Friday. It was the deadline of the grace period for gathering club members given to us by the student council vice president, Akari Kumoi. I hope I said that right. After school, Ageha and I, and then one other person, went to the Soaring Club's garage. The vice president came to see the four of us one by one, including club leaner Amane, as we lined up. Mm. <laughs> oh, no way! We got Kanako in on this? Let's go! Let's go. <laughs> Why are you pissed? We met your we met your standards. Third I leave a thick. A vein was clearly visible on the vice president's temple. <laughs> what do you mean? She's the new member. <laughs> And shoulder gongsi. And shoulder gongsi. Was zum fick? You don't have the authority to pick our members. You fucking botze. Please explain. So da so da. Yureibuin wa mitome nai to itta hazu desu. This is the tyranny of the student council!
いやー秋っぽい性格で。というわけで、却下です。You don't have that authority. えぇ、ー、いいじゃん。同じクラスのよしみでさ。You two are in the same class? Was? I guess they are in the same grade. ねえねえ、あかりちゃん。ベタベタ触らないでください。She gets rid of Kaneko with a flat refusal. It seems that she's used to dealing with her. 他に部員は Nine. ということは、配布決定ですね。会長、これ。アマネ、シープシュリパスアレイ、プリントアウトピースペーパー。It was the result of the Soaring Club's activities that she compiled. うん。ど、どうだろうか。ここ数年でフライトしたのは先日の一度きり。それも、授業中という暴挙。<笑>大会を目指しているわけでもなく、学園祭にも不参加で、作品や研究内容を発表する場も、特に設けてはいない。<笑>極めて個人的な趣味の範疇ですね。これはいわゆるサークル活動ではありませんかうん。素直に認めちゃダメですダメかな副会長どうしても行きたい場所があるんだ There was something that sounded like a desperate appeal in a mane's voice 行きたい場所イスカと約束したんだ The vice president said nothing as she looked at her, as if trying to figure out the true meaning. So, this is it. Buin was a story, Tarazz, Sammy. Can't you happy on the bar night? To a ye. To a ye? Was? Oh, not a. The vice president looked as if she's about to say something very important. And look behind us towards the back of the garage. Habaneza! There was Kotori. She had entered at some point. She said to Amane. What does she n e e But Kotori did not come towards us. Next to the glider with its sheet removed, she was looking down slightly at something on her lap. Amani walked over to her. Kotori looks at the white, sleek aircraft. And then. She held out the thing that was on her lap. A photograph. ここに行けるのこれは。When Amane saw it, she was wide eyed with surprise. この写真どこで Tears welled up in her eyes. なんなの I don't know. Ageha and I walked over there to take a look at the photograph that Kotori was holding. It was a photograph of clouds. A sunset dyed in indigo and orange. Or was it sunrise? 
in the beautifully colored clear morning glow was a huge row of clouds that looked just like a passage extending across the sky. This must be the passage of clouds. Kira. Yeah. Ageha and I, Kaneko and the vice president, we're all fascinated by the miraculous spectacle shown on the photograph. Kotori asked again. For a moment, I couldn't make the mental connection between the question and the view in the photograph. That was because it was a place too far away to be associated with the word go. This place... Riding this glider. As I look at the photograph, I envision the white aircraft without an engine flying across the sky. I remember being so graceful, and great and solemn. That really was a miraculous sight. All of us. Even Akari held our breath as we waited for Amari's answer. Can it go to this place? Yes, <laughs> She murmured as she took the photograph and looked at it nostalgically. Iska was so said that. That a Amani, who had until just now had tears in her eyes, smiled happily as she said that name. She spoke with both fear and a lack of confidence in her voice. However, in her eyes, be a strong determination. When Amane saw those eyes, she answered, <laughs> Oh yeah! <laughs> we did it. <laughs>
。それ褒めてんのええ。そう。Well, thanks for the compliment, I guess. For now, the number of members needed for the club had been reached, and the vice president left the garage together with Kaneko. Sus. The rest of us continued to look at the photograph that Kotori had brought. <laughs> But these clouds are a very unusual shape. <laughs> そうだろうな。この雲が出現したのは、君たちや、私が生まれるより前のことだ。私たちが生まれる前。What on earth is this photograph exactly? It was a really beautiful photograph. However, it was the same as the pictures in old photo albums, the sort that you would take as a photoshop to have developed. It was printed on paper with logos on the back. これは、モーニンググローリーと呼ばれる現象だ。ある特殊な条件下で起こるとされている。モーニンググローリーさらに、何キロにもわたって、雲の道ができる。A path of clouds like this, several kilometers long. とても珍しい現象で、一番最近起こったのが今から26年前。That's even before I was born. Good God. その時、当時のソワリング部の人たちがグライダーで飛び、この写真を撮影したんだ。へえ。え、じゃあ。This photo was taken in Kazagaura? おお、そうだわ。撮影したの、ここの OB? あ,あ、そうだ。To think that this amazing spectacle occurred right here, in my hometown, and the person who took the photograph was a member of the club to which I now belong. Even though the thing that I thought was so far away has now become a lot closer, it still doesn't feel real somehow. I think that I felt something along the lines of. Dude, that's amazing. ちょっと待って Her face looked like she was about to say, I've just realized something really important. What is it? さっき、グライダーで飛んで、撮影したって言いました言ったぞ。フライトログにそう書いてある。ってことは。Ageha and I take another look at the photograph. If you wanted to take a photograph from above the clouds, at the very least, the camera would have to be in a position higher than the clouds, obviously. Did the glider actually fly this high? So, I'm not going to be able to take a photograph from above the clouds. Ageha and I turn to look at the white aircraft. I don't know how many meters it was, and this wasn't just imagination. But when I picture actually flying this thing above the clouds, it looks kind of unreliable. I was born in this school. Takes the photograph in her hand and squints her eyes with nostalgia. I s k a ここへ行きたがってた。私とイスカはこの場所を目指してグライダー制作を始めたんだ。イスカ。There's that name again. Whenever Amane says that name, she becomes very nostalgic. Who is this Isaka person? Oh no! Kore! While we were talking, Kotori was listening quietly, but then held out a notebook to Amane. I thought I'd seen it somewhere before. 
It was a notebook with the things I want to do list. その写真はこれに挟まっていたの。A little surprised to hear that name all of a sudden, Kothri nodded. あ、私。そう。多分。だってあなた、いつかの親友なんでしょ For some reason, Amane didn't answer and looked at the worn cover of the notebook. それを読んで、私、グライダーに興味を持つようになったの。翼だけで風に乗って空を飛ぶ。まるで鳥のような飛行機。そんなので雲の上を目指すなんて、すごいって思った。でも。もっとずっと昔のことだと思ってたから、日記の日付だとイスカたちはもう特に卒業してるはずだし、まだ続けてるなんて思ってもみなかった。But if you were interested in gliders, why didn't you come to check out the soaring club? I asked in a light-hearted manner. Actually, she was so interested in them that just looking at a real glider makes her eyes sparkle with wonder. The owner of the diary might no longer be around, though. <laughs> Kotri held tightly to the hem of her skirt. <laughs> Listening to her words, I felt a dull pain coming from my right knee. Somewhere that she couldn't enter. That's what she believed, and that's why she didn't try to find out about the current status of the Soaring Club. It might have been similar to me, after I injured my knee and tried to avoid hearing any information about the Cycle Racing Club. The more I knew, the more envious I would become. That was the time that Kotori and I first met. In that peaceful landscape, Kotori watched the white aircraft flying over with such enthusiasm. <laughs> When Amane heard Kotori's story, she took a deep breath. <laughs> Amane put the book on the table but didn't read it straight away, and instead went to boil some water in the electric kettle first. Then she prepared the tea set. When the pleasant aroma of the tea started to fill the air, Amane sat down and finally turned to the first page. Her cheeks went slightly pink and her eyes seemed kinda nervous. Amane's eyes moved from left to right across the page. Slowly, carefully, methodically even. It felt to me that she was digesting it one letter at a time. She took a sip of the boiling tea. She placed the cup back on the saucer and then turned to the next page. <laughs> she began to smile. Maybe something fun was written there. And she giggled as if she'd become lost in memories. 
the nervousness that was in her eyes and read the first page disappeared. Yeah. It was a calm and happy smile. Or so we thought. <sighs> then, looking at the next page, she opened her eyes wide. There must be something surprising written on that page. From the look on her face, she seemed taken aback as she continued to read. After that, Amane's expression continued to change as she turned the page. She smiled, seemed surprised, looked troubled, appeared to be sulking, and then smiled again. ソワリン部分の活動記録よ。もう but when you read it, it had an effect on you, didn't it? We could tell by the look on Amane's face that Isuka's flight log was full of funny stories. It was also proof that the time they spent together was equally fun. When she reached what was probably the last page of the diary... Amane had tears in her eyes. As Amani smiled nostalgically, a clear drop ran down from the corner of her squinted eye. But she's smiling. The page that we were looking at? Amane mumbled in a quiet voice before bursting into tears. Wild, still smiling. She must have been smiling because she was happy. And the tears must have been because it was all in the past. Just looking at her. I feel a terrible pain inside, like my chest is closing up. <sighs> After reading the last page, she closed the notebook, and then went back to the first page. This is now the third time. Even so, it with the same happiness, surprise, worry, and nostalgia as if she were reading it for the first time. We quietly watched her as she repeated this again and again. The tea that she had only taken one sip from would have definitely been cold by now, but it looked like she had totally forgotten about it. <laughs> There are so many things I want to talk to her about, but it doesn't feel like now is a good time to speak. As we leave the garage, the sky is filled with the colors of sunset. With a deeper red than sunrise, the darkness of the night approached from the eastern sky. Yeah. Ageha seemed to be saying, I'm itching to go. I felt the same way. Okay, 
掛け持ちだから、毎日は顔を出せないけど。You don't seem that busy either. It should be okay, right? Even if she is also in another club, it's great that she's here. Sorry for all the trouble. うんうん、いいってことよ、アイボーアガハギズニアパンチインデショーダーンターンスコーテリー、グッドレフトリーレーダー、バッドスファーリングス。ハバネさん、昨日はごめんなさいアガハバウダーヘッド、グレートモメントン。別に親待ってもらうことなんてないと思うけど。Why did we do that? I gave her a karate chop to the top and for some reason. From now on, every time you take that kind of attitude, I'm gonna give you a chop. Kotori reeled back. Then, she looked at me with eyes like a Demon or an ogre or some shit. Come on now. You've got something to say, haven't you? Holy shit. If it didn't hurt, you wouldn't remember. She looked at me with anger in her eyes and she rubbed the top of her head, did that sideways aloof face thing, and pushed her wheelchair along. ハバネさんみたいな美少女にチョップかますなんて。アゲハズ、ウォルスタンデシスピークス。じゃあ、私行くね。早いとこ、ハバネさんを追っかけてやって。いや、See ya。またね。アゲハ、who looks like she's skipping as she walks, turns the head toward the school building. But she stopped halfway. She called out in a big voice. <sighs> I caught up with Kotori, who had a meek expression on her face as she quietly pushed her wheelchair along. You want me to push you? I don't know how tiring it is to push a wheelchair along, but if I tried to travel the same distance I'd normally walk by using my hands, I would definitely find it tiring. I went behind her and pushed the wheelchair anyway. I told you that I'd help you, didn't I? I'm not gonna do it all the time, but when my hands are empty, you can rely on me. Yeah, there is. Because we're friends. I felt a little embarrassed as I said that. I think that if I hadn't been facing her back at the time, I wouldn't have been able to say that. 
じになったっていうの Yesterday, we were hanging out, weren't we? That means we're already friends, right? Generally speaking, it wouldn't be incorrect to say so. And Kotori stays tight lipped and doesn't answer. For a while, we don't say anything as we follow the route back. I don't know if I want to ask or not. The main thing is the fact that you are staying. Sure. Sure. So she's not gonna throw it away? Seems like she's trying to say I might be a tough girl, but you just thank fuck we're not saying that out loud. If I said that, she'd just get mad, so I keep quiet. She suddenly seemed to lose her resolve, and she turns around to glance at me. Varumish. That question comes to mind, but I don't say anything. I think that the fact that it was me makes me quite happy, to be honest. That's fine, but I have one condition. n n Kothri puts her guard up. She looks as though she thinks I have another crazy demand to make. You talk to me like I'm a stranger. I want you to use my name more. You always refer to me as you or him, but I want you to call me Aoi. We're friends now. Would that be a problem? Don't you think of me as your friend, or, uh. I'm a little anxious as I ask her. Please understand, she seemed to say as she bent forward. And Kotori, why do you find it strange to say my name? <laughs> well, never mind. Come on, let's go, uh, Miss Habane. <laughs> okay, let's go, Kotori. Via sind ausrollen. And Kotori had a look on her face that indicated a complex mix of emotions. Awkward and shy at the same time. We'll definitely go there, above the clouds. <sighs> there are wispy clouds in the sunset sky. From now on, Whenever we look up at that sky, we'll be thinking about this. I'm gonna fly. <laughs> My heart was beating frighteningly quick.
茶が冷めてしまった。みんなは、もう帰ったのか。<笑>もうここでは続けられないかと思っていた。いつか、君が繋げてくれたんだな。あの子たちを、ここへ連れてきてくれた。It looks like I can keep going just a little longer until the end of this summer. And you know what? I think I'm gonna leave it off for this episode. <sighs> Till next time, it's been your German boy. Wiedersehen, mein Freundin.